All right, guys, we're going to try to fly the Wingsland S6. I've never flown it before, but in the house. It's a real pain with these, this damn phone flying crap. So, uh, let's at least start some video, okay? At least we can do that. And let's see if we can get it to take off. And hopefully it won't fly away. I am not a fan of flying with these phones. I can tell you that right now. I just actually want to see what the video looks like because I never recorded any video. I want to see if it looks nice or... Now this is the actual fast speed that I have it in right now. This is actually the high speed. Plus, I want to see how long the battery lasts. I just want to see if it's worth what well, it already went from 100 down to 80 in like no time, okay? I just want to see if it's worth buying the controller. You know what I mean? Now, the calibration on it on this thing was pretty easy. You only had to do the clockwise rotation. You didn't have to stand it up and rotate it. You just had to spin it around like five times um, clockwise. And um, that was about it. Okay, the batteries already went down to 70. I'll put the flight time in. I have a feeling it ain't gonna be that great. But this is as fast as this thing will go. It's not really, I have it in the high speed. It's not really like some kind of speed demon. See these things you just got, you got to get the controller, man. You just got to get it. But if the battery's only going to last three minutes, I'm not buying it. You know, if it lasts a little long, longer than that, I might consider it. Now it has some other modes on here, but I'm just not sure. It has like some, um, it hovers great. You can see it just sitting there. But it supposedly has, um, has 14 satellites. It has a, uh... oh, follow me. Okay, let's see if that works. It'll follow me right to China, okay? Is it following me? Yes, it is. It's actually working, okay? It's actually following me, which I'm pretty damn stunned that it works. Okay, I turned it off because this park isn't that big, so it's not like it's going to follow me very far. Hey, it seems to go all right. I just want to let it run and run this bad. I've never run a whole battery down on this thing. So I want to run and get the flight time. So far, the 50% and the flight time is like four minutes. Okay. So that means it's not even going to probably get eight minutes because it's not going to run the battery all the way down to zero. It's probably going to want to land at 20%. So that would be like seven minutes. So I don't know if it's worth buying a controller for seven minutes, to be honest with you. And I just charged the battery, so, you know, that's not the... The video 
on the on the screen looks good okay so it's already given me a low battery warning at four minutes and 45 seconds when it's at 30 percent that's when it gives you the low battery warning so I'm gonna bring it back so I'm most likely not gonna buy the controller um, it's just not going to be worth, a, you know, the controller, I only paid $199 for this thing. The controller is like $120. Bucks. So I'm not going to pay, maybe I'll just use this to shoot some other videos or something like that. Yep, there it goes in the grass, but who cares, right? Who cares if it's in the grass because it's... So the video was like five minutes. So I would say it's probably not worth buying the controller for. All right, boys. The Wingsland XS6. Not a real classic. Definitely not. It's really worth buying I wouldn't say I wouldn't buy it you know not for five minutes of flight time paying that kind of money but we'll see what the video looks like when I post it so all right guys I'll talk to you later <clears throat>